Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm swatching um, my Jane Davenport, um, my Jane Davenport um, mixed media products again. And the one I'm going to swatch today, well, I already started this video and the damn thing just went off. So I went through and I've, you know, deleted a bunch of videos on here. So on my phone. So hopefully we'll be fine. So I've already started to swatch some. So we'll go back over them and swatch them again since my video cut off. Um, I'm using a sheet that I got from Wallflower Stamps and Dies, and it's called a swatch chart. So again, it's called Wallflower Stamp and Dies. Um, you can go there and you can download this uh, swatch chart for free. Um, the Frugal Crafter is the one who told me about that, about this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get started right away and start swatching these. Oh, you need to know what we're swatching. I'm about to skip everything because I just already made this video. Um, this is Jane Davenport's Color Sticks. They are fabulous. That's her artwork. This is what the Color Sticks look like. They're fabulous. You get them at Michael's. Um, these are not expensive. They are, what they are is they're like a, they're a water-soluble crayon. They're made to look like lipsticks. All her stuff is made to look like, um, like cosmetics, which is so cool. So these are made to look like lipsticks. Isn't that cool? What a cool concept for um, art supplies. Um, you get them at Michael's. Um, they're like $15. So if you get a 50% off coupon, you can pick them up for $7. If you have a 40, about maybe eight, eight fifty, something like that. So um, they're really, really affordable. And they, they are like, they go on like silk. They're beautiful. So and they're water soluble. Okay, so let's get started. If I miss anything, I will go back through it. And I will keep checking my damn camera. And hopefully this thing don't turn off again. Oh, that makes me mad. Okay, so what we got here, Moon Kiss. And so what I did is because there really isn't enough room to um, to write the name of it and then to swatch all in the same square. So I took two squares per color. So I put the name here, color here, name here, color here, name here, name here, color here. Is that how I did it? Yeah, but actually I messed up and put the color here. But anyway, it's fine. All right, so here we go. This one right here is called Moon, Ki Moon Kiss. Oh, and let me come in closer so that you guys can see. Let's see. Just a second while I get myself up close and personal with you guys. But there we go. Okay. Make sure you are seeing this so we can go all the way to here where I have it. Okay, so we're perfect. Okay, so here we go. This is Moon Kiss. This is what it looks like. And they blend out beautifully with a little bit of water. Look at that. They just blend out beautifully. Love them. Okay, next we're going to use rice paper. That's what this one looks like. These are great colors for skin, for lighter skin tones, obviously. Okay. This one right here, in fact, this one's a little bit lighter, as you can see, the rice paper. So you could always put the rice paper down and shade with that color kiss right there. Um, this one is called Wink. It's a dark, dark brown. Oh no, this is not Wink. This is magnetic field. Okay, this one I think is Wink. Okay, here's Wink. And this is good for a nice dark, deep skin tone. Or you can use it as a shading on the Moon Kiss. Because it just, you know, you can just make it as light or dark as you want with water, right? So now you basically turn these into watercolors. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have done it on the next square over, but whatever. We're good. Okay, next is Magnetic Field. So that's what this one looks. This is a real nice dark, dark chocolatey color. And this would be a nice dark, deep skin tone. Or what you could do is have this be the base of the skin tone and shade with this. And it's just fabulous. Look at that. Beautiful. 
But see, like, when, about that shade of color would be, right there, would be great to shade that skin tone there. Or you could take that color and shade the lighter color there. So anyway, I like to kind of try to give you ideas as we go along. Okay, highbrow is the next one. And this is another brown color. Look at that, like a lipstick. So cool. This is highbrow. Another great color. It can either be a base color or you can shade with it. Or another deep skin tone. With these, she has your skin tones covered. And they blend out beautifully. And you can always take these and work right off of the... Um, right off the crayon if you want that turns out really nice too you can work this right off the crayon um you can take this and put this like um like on the inside of your tray and just mark it here and then add some water to it and use it like that so these are fabulous let me make sure you guys are still there yes you are thank goodness okay so next we have pucker up okay that's this one. And I'm just going over the, the, the swatch that I was just doing when my camera turned off. Oh. Okay, hopefully that's fine like that, is it? Yeah, okay. Okay, so... This color right here is gorgeous for um, cheeks and lips for your girls when you're coloring your girls in. Okay, this one says make a move. I love it. It's called make a, oh make a, is it make a move or make a mo? I think it's make a mo. But anyway, it's a magenta color. It is gorgeous. Again, this would be a, this would be great for lips, cheeks. I think it'd be good for eyes, for like eyeshadow. So would this one, that'd be a pretty eyeshadow color. But more lips and cheeks. This is perfectly lips, cheeks, or eyeshadow. Like mix this with a purple and this magenta color on some eyes. Oh, that'd be a dramatic eye eyeshadow color. Lips, cheeks, fabulous. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm making sure I'm going to be in frame for everything. Okay. Next is French Kiss. So that's this color right here. This is a very pretty, like, melon color, like a melon pink color. It's close to pink, but it's kind of melon. I like it. It's very pretty. It'd be great for cheeks. If you're doing your, if you're doing your girls, it'd be great for cheeks. It'd be great for um, lips. Okay, this one's called Pout. Now, this would be gorgeous to do, um, like, do a base of this color here, French Kiss, and then hit this to shade your lip color with pout that would be gorgeous God, let me see something i'm gonna change my mind on saying that you could put this color down as your base color the lighter this lighter pink color which is beautiful and then kind of sh do a shading with your lips. Um, or like do the whole lip this color and then the out like like a like a, a lip liner use that color there. That could look really gorgeous. Just an idea. I like to say these things as we go along so that I'm getting ideas in my own head too how to use them. Okay, this is eccentric. This beautiful purple. Okay, like remember I was saying a really dramatic eyeshadow on your girls would be gorgeous using this and that purple. Would that be beautiful? Uh, everything. Very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. Okay. Next is Deep Vein. It's another purple color. It's a lighter purple, 
So what would look really nice is if you wanted to do, use this um, for eyes, you could, for eyeshadow. But for lip color, it would be pretty to do this color as the base color. And then like your lip liner, this color. Yeah, very pretty. Very nice. Okay, and this one's called Gray Matter. There we go. Make sure you guys are seeing that. I don't use gray very much, so I don't even have an idea for gray. Maybe you could use this for like when you want to create like gray like um, hair and you want there to be gray hair. This could be really pretty. I don't do a lot of gray hair, but I should. I, I want to, so I'm going to. That'd be pretty. Oh, very pretty. Look at that. Very nice. You could use the same, the same thing, the same gray, mix it up on the side like watercolor and just do a nice wash and then do strands with um, the deeper color. That could be really cool. Okay, so I am loving those. Let me look at my time situation because I want to go on to the next one. And this one is called Soul, what is it called? Soul window, this next set of water solubles. But let me see what, how much time I have. Oh, we have plenty of time. It's only 11 minutes. Okay. So let's, there we go with all the colors. We got a nice swatch going. Okay. So now we're at the bottom here. Just a second, guys. I'm going to, I'm moving my swatch thing here. Oh, I need to turn it this way. So just a second, guys, while I get myself in frame. Ooh. Okay. So what I did is I turned this um, this little swatch chart this way because it was easier for me to work it this way. Okay. So they put two swatch charts per per sheet. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to work these, but this is how I'm working it. So, let's come in close. There we go. Okay. So, this one, we're going to go with these colors here, like I said. Exciting. The first one is violet. It's this beautiful, deep purple here. You know what else I like uh, violet for? I do eyes with violet. Like, I'll do one. This sounds crazy, but it's so pretty, you guys. I do one violet eye and one green eye. And it comes out gorgeous. I get a lot of compliments on my work when people see my girls with one purple eye and one green eye. They're like, oh, my God, I like that one purple and one green. I got that from Jane Davenport, one of her girls. I'm not sure the color she used, but it was two different color eyes. I'm like... Uh, loving that. Okay, love this purple. Beautiful. The next one's called Flutter, and it's just a black. Just black. Nice. I'm going to go back to this purple really quick. I feel like this really needs to blend out better. There we go. Some colors you got to lay down a little bit more color. Don't go too light on it. There we go. Okay, next one is called Heart Eyes. I think that's this red color. <clears throat> this one right here. There we go. And that's this red color here. Now, this is a color I don't use enough. Are reds, oranges, and yellows. So I should challenge myself. That should be a challenge to myself to do 
one where I use red, where I use orange, where I use yellows. Because I don't do it enough. Well, I don't do it at all. Very nice. This is red is actually gorgeous. This could be a very pretty lip color. Look how that, that looks. That's gorgeous. This next one is called Cadoodles. It's an orange color. Oh, Candoodle. I like her names. <laughs> she says she loves making up names for colors. That's like her favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm talking about Jane Davenport, the one who created all these products. Beautiful, wonderful artist. Very sweet. Love her. You guys have to get her products. They're the bomb. This orange is gorgeous. Look how pretty that orange is. It's so pretty, it makes me want to use that. Okay, next one is called, uh, what is it called? Brassy Locks. What does this look like? Ooh, that's pretty too. See, and by swatching, it'll, make, it'll help you to... Um, to branch out and use colors that you don't normally use because you're like, oh, that's pretty. It'll make you use it. That is gorgeous. Love it. Do I have any more paper towels in here? All right. I think I need to get some more paper towels in here in my craft room. Anyway, okay, let's go to Bright Future which I think is another yellow color, but it's a brighter yellow. Is that this one? Yep, Bright Future. Very nice. Okay, this right here is called Flourish and it's a green. Now, this might be pretty for the green eyes that I like to do. Let's see. I think it might because I like this color called Cricket. 